I think it's interesting because, it, you know, your, your character, it, it, it shouldn't be uh, nice in a way, you know, it shouldn't be, we, we shouldn't feel empathy for him, but at the end, from the very beginning, we feel empathy for him. So how, how was it like, you know, playing some maverick and almost, uh, you know, kind of character, but he's funny, he's nice, you know, at the end? Uh, I, I really based it on a man that I was at drama school with 40 years ago, who still owes me money because he was such a bon vivant and so grabbed life and loved to drink and to laugh and to go out with people. So knowing that, I thought, as long as you don't lend him too much money or give him the keys to your car or your apartment, you, 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 you have friends in your life that you go, okay, you love them, but you also have to know when to draw the boundary. So that's really what, what I, I base this on. Yeah. And uh, uh, talking about, you know, uh, uh, creating a resurgence for a character, how much is important for you to look at people, look, looking at real life, you know, something that maybe some stars cannot do, you know, cannot live in the real life. But it, I think it's very important, isn't it, for an actor to prepare for a character, you know? Yes, hugely. And I also... I worked with an actor called Ian Charlson, who was in the movie Chariots of Fire, the one best picture in 1981. And he died of AIDS in 1990, just before this movie is set. And I remember that he had this, he had this little boy lost quality of thinking, you know, everything can be good in life, even though he was 40 years old at this time. Um, and also a very decadent life that he lived. So these two things combined, and I thought, that's who this guy is, that he's somebody that he lives for the moment in the moment because tomorrow he, he will probably be dead. And so that gives a kind of poignancy and urgency to what you do. And that's, that's really what guided me. Uh, what's the difference for you of playing in TV or in big blackbusters like Star Wars? Money. Much more than <laughs> the money. Um, I'm in Star Wars at the moment, and the, I think the shoot is six or seven months. And this movie, uh, we shot in 26 days. But then it has no special effects, no spaceships. Um, so it's, you know, it's always a dialogue between two people, like we're talking right now. So it's much easier to do that, and much cheaper. Do you miss something of, of early 90s? Because the movie has this kind of, even a nostalgic mood in a way, so yeah. do you miss something of that, of that years? That well, because of, my, because of my age, I am very aware that everybody now, no matter how old or young they are, they're like that. So talking to people and eating with people and not always looking at the, or doing this, that is a big difference. So I miss that because my daughter says to me, she's 30 years old now, she said, what did you do before mobile phones? I said, we read books and we talked to each other. We didn't have to do this all the time. So, but we can't go back. But it, it is a reminder that that was a different time. Yeah. Uh, what about working with Melissa McCarthy? It's really a, a breakdown character for her. It's something very different. How did you prepare? Did you work and rehearse a, a little bit with her? I met her for two hours on a Friday morning and I had lunch with her and we talked about the scenes and the characters and then we started shooting on the Monday. So I met her for two hours and then we started work. But we got on instantaneously, so it was like a, a love match. And I'm, I'm so happy for that because she's a fantastic person. How an, uh, a person who doesn't drink alcohol at all can play an alcoholic? Uh, I'm allergic to alcohol, but I've noticed and observed that when people are drunk, they try very hard not to show other people that they're drunk. So they, the concentration they have just to get out the door where you don't notice anything else is just a little bit off. So that's, that's how I've tried to do it.